All right, everybody, what's happening, man? What's happening? Today, it's all about Jimmy. Jimi Hendrix, man. This is my 2015 Fender Hendrix Strat. Um, I love this guitar. I haven't played it in quite some time. Uh, let you hear a little bit of it. Playing sucks, but the guitar feels wonderful. Um, along with the Hendrix uh, Monterey strap, and I got that idea from my son. Uh, <clears throat> he has the same same strap. He has the the uh, Monterey Strat Stratocaster. When you say Strat and Strap, it's really close. People are like, what? You getting another Strat? No, Strap. <laughs> but I've had that happen before. Can't wait till you unbox that new Strat. I was like, no, no, I said Strap. <laughs> but anyway, man, this guitar is phenomenal. I'm going to show you what I'm going through right now. I'm going through the EVH Hua. Uh, we have the, uh, uh, what is that, Dan Electro. Um, oh, man, the Pastrami. Okay, I couldn't read it. It's been a long time since I used that pedal. Uh, and the short pedal board with the TC Electronic Mimic, the classic chorus. TC Electronics again with the Quintessence, which is a harmonizer. Uh, Dispatch Master for more reverb and then a, a, a Donner Yellow Fall delay. We're not using the loop pedal. Um, so, and we're going, as you can see, we're playing through uh, the Boss Katana head. I haven't played through the 5150 in a while. I retubed it a, a year or so ago and I've played it a couple times here and there and it sounds phenomenal. But this is just so much easier just to turn on. I don't have to wait for nothing to warm up. You're ready to go. You know, if, if so for a solid state, it's it's incredible. Um, this guitar, I think it ran for, I don't know, man, like, well, I can't remember if it was 800, like 799 or 899. I can't remember. It's been... It's, been a while you know since since i bought it i did replace the tuners that had vintage style tuners i did not like that um so i went to guitar center and put locking tuners on that was the best investment i had to kind of i had to kind of bore the holes out a little bit bigger so they would fit and then the uh also for the little screws that hold them in i had to kind of make those bigger and redrill those because they didn't line up um no big deal uh but man the locking tuners make such a big difference on this guitar it just stays in tune rather well um <clears throat> but they kind of got that hendrix feel going on they they make you they put the reverse or the upside down neck on it i should say for that kind of upside down look that jimmy always did uh and uh, another thing too that they talked about is how this pickup is slanted um I guess to give it a little bit different tone because uh, Jimmy had his upside down so I'm, I'm guessing it's something to do with that I'm not a histor a historian I should say on Hendrix I just I'm just I just love his music and watch a lot of biographies but I, I can't remember what they said about this pickup somebody in the comments can you know add to that I'm sure uh, but it really it feels great and it's uh, made in Mexico I meant to say so you probably figured that out by the price already but but it really kind of gives you that feel that you're playing Hendrix's guitar, kind of, sort of, you know. Um, pickups are amazing. Uh, I mean, it's really, I love this guitar. It's phenomenal. So um, let me see if I can give you another taste. So we're going to engage the Y here. Yeah, 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 yeah
I think it sounds terrific. I really do. I love this guitar. Um, I haven't played much today. It's, I've only, I haven't been up long. I work third shift or it's just my hours are all screwed up anyway. So we're, we're kind of struggling here, but. Um, I'm, I'm sure they still make these. I haven't really looked into them lately. Uh, I know at the time they had the, I guess this is an Olympic white, if that's the proper color, and they had the black and white. Uh, I think now they actually have a, <clears throat> I think they call it like a violet, uh, purple, you know, and, and uh, I, I think the title says violet, I think. Could be wrong. But uh, of course the purple went upside down or you know the neck and I was like damn that looks good um, you know purple purple haze you know and all that I just like man that is awesome you know so uh, but I said no nah, I've got I've got a Hendrix Strat man and uh, uh, back to my son's Monterey Strat I played it it's really good I wish they would have put the upside down neck on that or the you know whatever you call it, the lefty neck on it. And um, <clears throat> that would have really set it off even more, but they didn't do that. I don't know why. I don't know, I was like, damn, they did it on this. Why didn't they do it on that? But I don't know. I don't think you can find those anymore. I don't, I don't guess the Monterey Strats did that well. I, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. You don't, I've looked them up on AMS and they're not there. I, they might be now, but it's been a while. But I looked and I said, man, those are gone. So I guess they weren't a big seller, but uh, it plays great plays phenomenally well so anyway this is a video about the this Hendrix Strat I love it like I said the only upgrade I did to it was the locking tuners here um, makes for a, <laughs> a lot better tuning stability uh, no tuning issues really um, I got some dust and stuff in here I gotta get some spray or something and get that cleaned up it's not as bad as it was but I need to need to adjust that other than that man the guitar I love it and it's, it's got a, a little bit uh, wider not necessarily thicker but a wider neck than the Wolfgang standard um, this uh, EVH stripe series it feels kind of about like that you know it's kind of that same kind of width um, and I want to say that guitar has a, a R3 locking nut on it, so it's a little bit wider of a fingerboard. So it reminds me, it's reminiscent of that. That's what it kind of feels like. Uh, so that kind of, you know, gives you an idea of the thickness and the width of the neck. Uh, the playability is smooth. It's not hard to maneuver. Um, there is, uh, you know, that shiny uh, lacquer on the back. I think my son, what he always does, he, he sands that off. So it's just smooth, just the wood. Um, I thought about doing that to this, but I said, nah, I really, I just haven't done it yet. I mean, it's, it doesn't bother me that bad unless you're really just, your hands are really sweaty. Uh, it can kind of hinder things there, but you know, what am I gonna do? Play a big concert outside somewhere and, and that's, that's not gonna happen. But <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out this Hendrix model, uh, if you can, get to one sometime you know with when all the stuff blows over or if you know somebody that has one and you trust them and you know nobody's infected or whatever and everything calms down play one of these man and see if you like it i love it i think it's a phenomenal strat for the money it really you can't beat it um i didn't put the whammy bar on because of course it's not a locking trim hendrix 
course, didn't use that. There was no, it wasn't invented yet. Um, Hendrix didn't care. He just went wild with the bar. And then he would, you know, he was always out of tune. And I've seen footage where he was playing and he leaned over and tuned real quick uh, and got it right back where it was. And I was like, holy crap. And uh, that's just the brilliance of that man. It's amazing. So uh, that's enough for me. Thanks for watching this video on the 2015 Hendrix Strat by Fender, made in Mexico. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on the next go around. Until then, this is Joe for the Joe Wentz Project, where guitars still live and breathe. Check the links below for more information. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.